So let's go right back to the start of the day when uh, Kane Williamson won the toss and decided to bowl first. Yeah, I was hoping for plenty of movement and to me, Eckwell came out and played as if there was plenty of movement because he swung the bat, feeling that one would have his name on it, so he was going to make merry while he was out there. At the other end, his, his mate decided to play an attacking shot and played a poor one, holding out to Tim Southey, who was bowling pretty well up into the breeze, which was more of a howling gale. To me, though, oh, he was actually playing some really good shots and looking more and more assured and confident and more compact and classy as the innings went on. It was a good yell for LBW. De Grandhomme coming around the wicket, believed that was hitting, they reviewed it, and it was bounce that saved to me. And a good decision because there always has to be doubt with a right arm bowler bowling around the wicket to a left hander. So to me, yeah, not out. survived. got better and better. He was prepared to go after the shorter ball. It was his driving, which I liked. There's some, some sparkling cover drives. Mixed with some pull shots. And New Zealand was unable to find the right length to him, and he was taking them on. 15. Off better than a run of ball. Then Bolt came back. One got edged. Second ball had to mean pushing forwards, but not far enough. Caught on the move. It was given, not out. Again, New Zealand reviewed it and this time okay. they're Ray, reviewing come back to you to it was on song you are on camera now and to mean lbw to bolt for 56. at two down there was a very good partnership between Mominol and Mamadala as they knuckled in and new zealand for the better part were a little bit more accurate and they were prepared to wait new zealand out and when the loose ball came they took it on Good shots off the back foot and front foot. Good patient batting, I thought, as the two of them put on 85 for that wicket. Momino brought up his 50. Good patient, compact player. Then Mamadoula played a loose shot. Feet did go. Maybe mentally the aggression of Wagner forced him into that shot, but it was a disappointing one that broke that partnership. New Zealand should have got a wicket quickly after that, Shakib Al Hassan, but it was put down by Mitchell Santner. Disappointing miss for New Zealand. And then the umpires got together not long after that and said the light is not good enough for play, fellas. So off they've gone. Bangladesh looking very good, actually, at 154 for three. They'll take that off 40 overs, having been inserted on a wicket that they would have been a little bit concerned about. The bowling Trent Bolt started off poorly, but it's got better and better as he's come back into the game. Tim Salvey is accurate as ever, although when he came downwind, he struggled somewhat to find the same rhythm that he did upwind. And Colin de Gronholm, just the six overs. Neil Wagner, typical Neil Wagner, aggressive, and that aggress aggression was rewarded with a wicket. The highlights. Plenty of them for Bangladesh. This was an opportunity, BJ Watling. Looked like he caught it, he was given out, Shakib, but it was referred upstairs. The soft signal was out, the ball was in the glove, and then it landed on the ground, slid along it, and BJ Watman got the back of the hand. So he probably wouldn't have felt that, or he wouldn't have felt it. it was given not out, so it was a life. And that was a response by Shakib, put up 150. He is such a talented time with the ball. Mushfika at the other end, fantastic partnership, 359 they put on. Mushfika brought up his 150. And they were racing towards the highest ever partnership by the Bangladesh pair of all time. Ross Taylor looked like again he'd had this, and Shakib was put down. Went in, both hands, and as Taylor hit the ground, it bounced out. Shakib was living dangerously. And he was dealing in boundaries now. That was a cracking shot. The outfield is good, but he made it look very fast. And he brought up his double hundred. And Mushvika, the partnership finally the edged off Trent Bolt. At the other end, Shakib was starting to cut anything on off stump. And then once too many times, and Neil Wagner got one to reverse back. He chopped it onto the stumps. Everyone shook his hand. He departed for 200.
and 17. High score by a Bangladesh batsman in Test cricket. And at the end of the day, the final ball, Neil Wagner got Mahidi caught by Tim Southey. Good effort and good concentration. That's the scorecard there. 542 for seven, with Shakib getting the highest ever score by a Bangladeshi batsman. Mushfika was outstanding as well. And we mustn't forget the contributions earlier of Tamim and Mominal, who was out early today. The New Zealand bowlers, well, Wagner's come through in the end with a couple of late wickets to finish with three. And Bolt and Southey have two apiece by 540. Uh, Bangladesh continue to bat in the morning rather than declaring. New Zealand were a little bit ragged, actually. That was uh, a goober dropped by Tom Latham, maybe thinking about his batting at that point. Finally, they were able to make the breakthrough there with Task and Went. They, they still, they're really just using up time at the moment. I thought Bangladesh, they weren't achieving that much through batting on, but they are batting all right. New Zealand was just looking a, a little tired, really, with ball and in the field. New Zealand then came out to bat, and uh, the bowling was asking a few questions, but for the most part they were counting. Waiting for anything short to force away. It was a dropped catch early on. Another one that really should have been taken. The catching's been a little bit average in this test match to date. Mehdi was just put away. Every time he got short, they waited on that. And New Zealand has brought up 50 between the two of them until Jeet Raval just didn't get the feet to move. Sparred at the first ball from Cameral, and he was out for 27. The players have enjoyed getting out of the wind, which is getting up quite considerably for this final session. A session that New Zealand would be relatively satisfied. They managed to score 131 runs of 25 overs, thanks to Kane Williamson, who was in a great touch, batting at three and cuts. And along with Tom Latham, they put on an excellent partnership of 77. And Tom's Latham had a small amount of luck, but also scattered with some great pull shots. He's played the spin very well, and he brought up his 50. And they're looking very secure. Williamson brought up his 50. And then after that, he got the 53. A very good delivery by Tuscan. Got the outside edge in the first test wicket. And a very celebrated Bangladesh side. Ross Taylor has been nothing short of positive and looked in great touch. First test inning since his 100 in Hamilton before the eye operation. One bit of luck, but he has moved through to 36 off just the 33 deliveries. The way he's played the left arm spin of Shakib has been brilliant. So let's go back and have a look at the highlights of the final session. Tom Latham just continued on as he had all day. Played nicely, waited for the ball and the bowlers to come to him. Ross Taylor had looked in great form and one loose stroke was all it took. Very similar to Kane Williamson looking in total control. Great work from Cumrell. And that brought Henry Nichols to the crease. It was aggressive to start with, and that was the way he should play. He's a nice, attractive stroke player. Oh, 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 oh. Rifle saying not out. Tama Mikbal standing in for yeah, Mushfika Rahim in. decides to okay. review. Pistol, I'm going to come back to but you off field. As far as Bangladesh were concerned, it was unsuccessful. Tom Latham, though, kept going. Like particularly the square of the wicket shots. Very few down the ground. Long discussion again about whether to review, but I think the fact that it was only two overs later, they decided not to. The stumping was also requested. Pretty easy decision for the third umpire, Nigel Long. Henry Nichols just keeping that back foot on the ground. But this partnership has been a good one. Worth 87 so far. Of just 180 deliveries and a brilliant 100 from Tom Latham, his sixth in Test cricket. And a quite remarkable stat, only the second New Zealand Open in the last 87 years to score 100 here at the Basin Reserve. 
So in summary, 292 for three. Good reply by New Zealand to 595 for eight by Bangladesh. Latham's still there, batted right through so far. And two wickets for Cameron and one for Tuscan. Long spell of bowling from Mehdi, but not able to take a wicket as yet. So Bangladesh are pulling out after about an hour's play this morning at 595 for eight, with Wagner getting four in the finish. And New Zealand 292 for three, still 303 runs behind. At the base reserve for the second session of day four of this first test between New Zealand and Bangladesh. See, on is even in the first session, but overall Bangladesh are still in charge. Highlights of the first session. Some very good batting from Latham and Nichols. Henry Nichols bringing up 50. Partnership was 142 between the two players for the fourth wicket. Latham, as always, strong through the offside, square of the wicket and on the drive. Then Henry Nichols just had what you call a bit of a brain fade. He forgot that there was a player in at leg slip and guided the ball straight to his hands. Colin de Grandholm bludgeoned a four, a very big six, and then got out very next ball. And that provided Subhashish Roy his first test wicket, and boy, was he happy. And we all were, really. Maybe not Colin de Grandholm. So it brought PJ Watling to the crease. Tom Latham carried on. Very good fashion. Got through to 177 before. Made a sweep shot. For a straight ball. Missed it. Ball rifle spot on. And Latham on his way back. Brilliant innings. Highlights of the middle session. Mitch Santner was playing pretty well. In fact, uh, he lasted throughout the session. Made his way through to 49 with some really good shots. BJ Watling was also in good nick, played beautiful on drive, that was uh, really easy on the eye. Number of boundaries here. Keep an eye on that sweep shot and compare it to that one. One of the worst deliveries you'll ever see, one of the best catches, fluke or not, that you'll ever see. And the end result was that BJ okay, Watling was on his back. way for 49. Yeah, I don't need to go any further, thank you. So you're going to change your decision to out, you're on camera. And then Tim Southey came out, and in the very same over, Mamadullah trapped him in front. So Mamadullah had two in no time at all. It was reviewed. I think even Tim Southey knew it was pointless reviewing it, but he did anyway. And straight back okay, on I to three reds. the top of the inside Maybe of middle stump. Santa had a glorious six just prior to the tee break. Out of the ground. And Neil Wagner played a glorious cover drive off the back foot. As good as you'll ever see. Again, this time he gets it in his favoured direction. Yep. And he takes it on. Hits it straight up in the air. Emerald Kays is underneath it. And the bowler wins a massive battle there. And Imrul has his fifth catch. 504 for nine. Oh, that's good. That's better than good. It's in the air. Chance. Not really. Ah! Oh, some interest there from New Zealand. They've all got him. They've given it. He's got him. It's a good shot. They need to. Oh, he turns it back. He's hit. He's hit. He's run him out. Oh, my golly gosh. And what a pick up and throw from Santa, and that's out. What a day Mitchell Santa's had. Yeah, it's been a factor in that small session. So Bangladesh uh, 66 for three. They've lost in Rokais through to injury. So he probably won't be back tomorrow, so maybe make that four. New Zealand bowlers with their tails up. The pitch starting to turn somewhat for Santner. He has one for 19. Wagner is getting some life with the short ball. And it's the bottom line that is so crucial here. Bangladesh lead by 122. There's 98 overs maximum or minimum available tomorrow.
for New Zealand to push on. If they can take the remaining wickets and bowl Bangladesh out, let's say halfway through the day, it's game on. At the Basin Reserve for the second session on this, the fifth and final day of this absorbing test match between New Zealand and Bangladesh, and I mean absorbing, it looked for a long time as if it was just going to be a bat, bat, bat draw. No way, it's turned into something much more than that. And that is the reason why Bangladesh are now 137 for six. A very, very eventful morning. They've got a lead of 193, but it's come at some cost. Highlights of the morning's play. Well, uh, they resume with Mominal and, of course, Shakib, who played one of the most forgettable shots of his career to a side under pressure. Got out for a duck, so 200 to nothing. Wonderful shots through the offside. Mominal drove it one just a little bit away from the body off Wagner. Fullish delivery and the Grand Home took a very comfortable catch. Mushfika came out, was dropped by Tim Southey, batting with a broken hand. They had an appeal as well. Reviewed, given, not out. Yeah, it looks like the ball's clear. Yeah. Stay with you, not out. You're on camera. Overturned. Mushfika hit by Tim Southey bowling round the wicket. They peppered him because of the fact that he's got a hand problem. As a result of that, uh, he was taken to hospital. The ambulance came onto the field. He was taken to, to hospital. Latham put down the catch of Tuscan, who then got an absolute screaming Yorker from Trent Bolt. And New Zealand had their man there. And just prior to lunch, they thought they had the wicket of Sabir. He didn't think so. Okay, he asked for there. a review. Nice and slow. again, off okay. the arm guard. So it looks like the ball's clipped the arm guard. I've got no spikes before that, so I'm going to ask you to change your decision to not out. Give a not out. So he remains. Sabir remains with the Kamaral. Sabir is on 40. Kamaral on the duck. Kane Williamson and Ross Taylor will resume their partnership, which is currently worth 52 from just 46 deliveries. Some expert batting before the tea break is. Set New Zealand up in total control at the moment. They require 126 runs from 38 overs to win this test match. The session began with Bangladesh batting and Shabir batting quite nicely. Brought up 15. He was running out of players at the other end though. Cameron got gloved, ducked one that didn't get up as high as he thought. Imran Kays came out after that injury that led him off the field last night in the stretcher. Yeah! Shabir then was trying to score the runs by himself and he got out. Imran Kays played some great little look shots. He could hardly move out there. He couldn't run. Yeah! And the innings was finished by a ripping Yorker from Bolt to Subashesh. And New Zealand came out, nudged around quite nicely. Latham and Raval until Raval just chip one back. The yeah. Medi. Williamson. Williamson's just been batting once again in next yeah. fashion. Tom Latham, horrible little push at one outside off stump. Really disappointed with that. He would be. It was a nothing shot. Ross Taylor then came out and joined Kane Williamson, and the two of them have been playing very positively and in a dominant fashion. And in the space of about 20 minutes. New Zealand from a situation in which there would have been an element of concern to a situation where they'll feel quite comfortable as it stands right now. 126 needed to win this test. So quite impressive last session because Ross Taylor and Kane Williamson showed that with aggression they could take this game away completely. All hope from Bangladesh was gone because they just dealt in boundaries really all around the wicket. Tommy McBowl, the stand and skipper, tried all his bowlers. Nobody was able to get the breakthrough. Williamson getting through to his 50. Nice use of the feet. Mahidi had been the most successful of Bangladesh's bowlers, picking up the New Zealand openers. And Ross Taylor, having changed his stance, has been in good form all the way. Another half century for him. Tommy McBowl, unsuccessful with this, sliding down the leg side. 
partnership between Ross Taylor and Kane Williams. Thank you. With 163. And they were a perfect foil for each other. Subhashish Roy, his first two overs went for 20, but he struck immediately. And his third, that is simply brilliant. Stuck in the right hand. And it was quick. Henry Nichols walked out to bat with just 16 to win. And with his captain nearing 100, came Williamson. Duly obliging, his 15th Test match 100. And he follows that up immediately with the winning runs. Well done to the skipper and New Zealand. So the overall match summary, Bangladesh, of course, way, way back it seems, they were asked to bat first, and didn't they do it well? 595 for eight, Shakib 217, with Shvika 159, Mominal 64, Tamim a half century as well, and so too for Sabir. Five players, the first time ever, five players for Bangladesh had uh, broken the 50 mark. And then, of course, Shakib, the highest ever individual score for a Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh batsman. Also, the partnership, 359, was amazing too. All sorts of records set in that. And then New Zealand had to turn around and say, if you can do it, we can do it too, and they pretty well did. On the back of Tom Latham's very patient, but stylish at times, 177. Mitch Santler found some form, 73. Henry Nichols, 53. And uh, New Zealand responded quite well, it's fair to say, to reduce the deficit to an awkward one for Bangladesh. They had to bat well last night, they didn't. They opened the door for New Zealand. And when they had a couple of players injured as well, New Zealand came to the ground believing this morning if they could do it right and Bangladesh mate would make the odd mistake, they could win this test match come tonight. And they did just that. Shakib's 217 was almost forgotten when he played one of the worst shots he's played in his career and opened the door even wider for New Zealand to stroll on through. And that's exactly what they did. Williamson, 104 not out. Taylor... Ross Taylor, 60. That was the partnership that broke the back and won the game, 163.